In this video, you'll learn how to create this shake slash floating effect for your text and PNGs. But before we dive into this, I wanna let you know about my amazing editing packs and presets, especially my text and logo animations. Because at the end of this video, I'll show you how to take this shake effect and turn it into this amazing animation using those presets in seconds. So my name is Adrian Torson, and let's dive into this effect. The first thing you wanna do for the shake effect is come up to your effects and search transform. It's gonna be this one under the transform. Just click it, drag it onto your text or your PNG, whatever you're using, and just scroll down and you'll see transform. Make sure to unclick this and go to 360. This will enable kind of motion blur, so then it just doesn't look kind of static. And it gives it a little motion blur, especially if you have it really aggressive, and it just makes the effect pop more and give it more what you're looking for. So what we wanna do now is go to the position. Make sure your playhead is all the way to the left. Click on position. And now we wanna go every five frames and make sure you're kind of zoomed in so you kind of see this. And what you wanna do is just, you can either hit the arrow key five times. So one, two, three, four, five. Or easier way is just come to the left side, hold shift on your keyboard and click the arrow key once. It'll go five frames for you. So you wanna grab this kind of thing in the middle. If you, want, if you need to zoom in, you should. Just kind of grab it. You can see that it's actually moving the anchor point. We don't want that. So grab the other one, kind of move it to the right, and then come up to this anchor point, the anchor point right here, hit this reset perimeter. Now you can have that re perimeter and you'll be dragging the position. Now what you wanna do is kind of go out, make sure you kind of have that like your safe zone, so not too far. It's gonna take some time to keep doing it over and over and over again, but just kind of keep You'll get the gist of it once you get it, but now let's just go five frames and let's grab it and probably go like here, another five frames and then go like over here. That might be a little too aggressive or go here, kind of go like maybe kind of in like a slight circle like here, maybe like come back a little bit and get closer to the circle. We can grab the wrong one go up here, go five more frames up here. And go over here, right here. And for the last keyframe, make sure that whatever you wanna do is just hit the reset parameter. Now, once you're done with that, just click right and hit temporal and Pulation. Make sure it's on continuous Bezier and you should get this kind of a fake shake effect. See how mine's kind of a little too aggressive? Again, you have to really play around with this. You'll get the gist of it in time, but you can just see how every single time you do this, it's gonna just waste a ton of time and we don't have time for that, especially when we're trying to meet client deadlines and just editing in general. So what I'm actually gonna show you is something really cool. It's from my text and logo animations pack. If you wanna get that, it's gonna be linked in the description. Use the code SHAKE for $5 off. All you do really is just come over here to ET Shakes. It should be in this text animations right here, but mine's bugged and it keeps deleting, so I had to do it special way. That doesn't really matter. But now you can just grab this ET Shake, grab it, drop it. It already has the key points and everything for you. So let's just go over here and watch. It kind of gives that, that shake that you're looking for. It gives it a really good floating effect. Now we can just grab this like shake fast. You can drop it. Now you can see that it shakes faster. It's more aggressive, same with medium. It's kind of just self-explanatory. Now that we kind of have this like shake that we want, we can make that cool effect I was talking about by just going into either the logo animation. So if we want it, let's say, I want it to like kind of come in right here. So come from the bottom and then drop down. I can just grab this slide in up and down out self-explanatory, drag it on your layer, and now it kind of gives this effect. Obviously that's a little too slow for my liking. So what we can do is just come over to it. It's already labeled, you can see it's right here. Kind of grab this middle keyframe, bring it to the left, and this right one also bring it. So now we have a, like a faster, ooh, that's a lot better, and it goes out. Perfect. What we also can do too, is give it a type of like grungy effect that Iman Gazi uses that not a lot of people actually use and they should be using this because it looks extremely good. It is called 
I just have it right here, the Iman Ghazi text or the frame slope, you just want the frame. So for this instance, let's get that glow and plus that jitter effect. You plop it on and then my computer will load it. It will look like this. So there's that jitter animation. You can see on, on the border, it has that nice kind of like jittery. If you look in really closely, you'll see it's a lot more effective. You can just see that nice jittery kind of effect. Also, if you want the glow, you can just kind of turn this on and it'll give it the glow. My computer's a little laggy right now, but you can see it gives that, that nice glow that he uses. Plus, if you guys want to use, let's say, you don't want any of these, so let's just delete them all. Let's say that you wanted a flicker just three times you can also do like five let's come over here kind of drag them to how long you want it you can kind of just like see this flicker effect it's not very fast but what you can do is just kind of grab these keyframes and position them out and you get this kind of effect and then if we wanted it like another one we can just kind of copy you can paste it and you can kind of get like that. That's pretty nice and simple and easy. I'll show you one more really quick. You can also just grab this viral text effect everywhere. You can see when you grab it, it puts that nice viral effect if I zoom in. See, look, now it has that, that effect. So you get this type of really good looking effect. Like I said, it's gonna be down in the link in the description. Use the code SHAKE for $5 off. And if you want to learn more effects just like this, click this video right over here.